Sunshine Canyon, Logan Mill, Escape Route. Some of these you may have heard of, some of them may be new to you, but they're all delicious ingredients in the recipe for the Boulder Backroads cycling trip with Alter Exploration. Yes, and I'm Chris Case of Alter Exploration. This is Ben Delaney, of course, and we're incredibly excited to have you join us in this beautiful place here, Boulder, Colorado, one of my favorite places on earth to ride a bike. Every time I take somebody who hasn't ridden here before, they're blown away. It makes me appreciate where we live, what we have to ride, and it brings me great joy, honestly, to, to showcase this place to them. We are spoiled rotten in We a, are spoiled in rotten. I'm trying to the, say that in a nice way. <laughs> the, the scenery is ridiculous. The roads are quiet. It feels incredibly remote, despite the fact that all the routes start from downtown Boulder. One of my favorite things about riding in Colorado is the wild variety in topography and scenery and gradient and surface. What should people expect when they come here in terms of the road surface yep. and road gradient? A bit of everything, honestly. We've got very smooth, paved, switchbacky climbs up into the mountains, a la Flagstaff, a famous climb. We've got relatively smooth, pretty wide, and pretty consistent gradient stuff like sunshine on dirt or half of it's on pavement, half of it's on dirt. And then we've got Jeep roads, um, not chunky stuff, but Jeep roads nonetheless, such as Logan Mill, and everything up to 15, 16% at times. So that leads to my question, which would be, what type of bike should someone ride? And you've ridden literally hundreds of bikes, many gravel bikes in the past few years. What would be your recommendation here? Low gears, wide tires. An all-road bike is probably the minimum for your maximum enjoyment in terms of you want to have like a 32 millimeter tire or so. Mm -hmm. A gravel bike is also a great option with a 35 or a 40 mil tire. That will make sure that you're happy with plenty of traction and a little bit of suspension on the rougher stuff. And yes, you can do all these roads on an old school road bike. But, but you'd be the odd person out at that point. You might be the grumpier person yeah, that's at true. that point that's as true. you're grinding a bigger gear yeah. or you're just getting rattled where other people yeah. are floating. So yep. yeah, low gears, wide tires, makes for happy riders. We can't wait to have you join us here in Boulder, Colorado. It's a phenomenal place to ride bikes. Everything you need to know is on our website, alterexploration.com.